Hey, welcome back everybody. Guess what? Guess what? This is week 16. This ain't no prediction video. This is my little celebratorial video. As you just now know, if you ain't a Ravens Nation fan, I want to get you hip to the game. My vote for Ravens. Oh my god, my heart hurt so bad, but it felt so good. They had in the first quarter, first half was doing horrible against the Cleveland Browns, no doubt. Very fucking horrible. The next thing you know, Joe Flacco, they showed him on the sideline that he was meditating. Nobody was going to talk to him. I thought they wasn't going to talk to him before, but they was pissed off. Even I wanted to reach through the TV screen. I'm like, listen, Joe Flacco, stop playing like Eli Manning, looking like Eli Manning. Get your shit together, man. For real. What is going on with you, man? You have all the talent in the world, all the talent around Baltimore Ravens Nation on that team, man. Like fucking go through shoot the spirit ball. We have given you all our energy, all our hope, all our passion. You do something with it. And with a glimpse of God, I'm an atheist, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know I had all the atheists, but I don't really believe in God. But that if it is God, he was a Ravens fan today. But for the simple fact he told Joe Flacco about the Ravens nation and how bad he needed this win, but at least do something. Not let this season be in jeopardy. Do not let this season be in peril. Because for the simple fact, C. Smith joined this team for a reason. Show Carolina Panthers that he can still make it. And that's what he's done. With that being said, the Baltimore Ravens got it done in the second half of the game. Joe Flacco came out there. Not one, but two touchdown passes. And guess what? We won. We win. We're in. So yes, the Baltimore Ravens has clinched the last seed in the NFC wild card spot to make it to the motherfucking playoffs. And this here right here is a little bit, I mean, this is me playing a little gameplay after I was so happy. I just had to be on the Browns again. I'm a little upset that Johnny Menzel couldn't play. I wanted to rub his face in the dirt because this whole LeBron James dick sucking he's doing, thinking he's going to be the shit in Cleveland. No. It's all about the money. He's going to go down to the NFL bus and apparently because the Browns ain't going to do nothing. It's the Ravens and then Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. I couldn't see, I couldn't see the Browns winning or making the playoffs in the next 10 years. While the Bengals are doing real good, while the Ravens are catching fly, a fire with cloud going on our talent, and Pittsburgh being stingy and having the defense they always do. So whatever the hell the Browns want to do, just sit back and just enjoy the ride. The players just have fun. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm your number one favorite fat guy in the man cave. George is in the field. The real name status, no line, no, just the real Ravens fan. The name is George Brooks. Back in the man cave dungeon. Normally I do my intro first, but I was so goddamn happy. With my team. I'm sitting there watching the game. My girl, her, my girl, the Colts fan. Her team is already in the playoffs. She's looking. She's like, "Well, we win, baby." She's laughing at me because you know her team doesn't need to win. They won two heads off the Colts. I would bet they finish. They finish with a better record. So my girl took down for both the playoffs. We might have to play them in wild cards. That's one of them. Epic set up so bad, so we might go with up and the bet might be if I, my team wins, I get angle. If uh, your team wins, you get 10 bucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, hopefully it's me. That's a, that's a given. But anyway, I'm so happy. Ravens Station is back in the house in the playoffs for the six straight, well, not six straight time, out of the past seven years, Black Bucks been on quarterback. The Ravens made the playoffs six. And I'm a little bit upset we didn't make it last year, but yes, I'd rather have a speed. I'd rather have my team make it Play all like Tuckers these three times this year He's and be like the Browns open Raiders that don't get their team to go make it through the playoff like 10 straight years. No, if I have to miss a playoff, you know, once every two or five years, that's fine. I can do that. But anyway, this is the Ravens station. This is what hopefully will happen in months to come, you know, after the playoffs, that you will see the Baltimore Ravens. It's like 2012, holding up the Brock party trophy, which is the Super Bowl, all the confetti straight and down on Ravens station. I can feel it. Oh, ooh. Yeah, Ravens Nation, brother. It's like, that's a little bit of my WWE coming up. Don't worry, WWE. I'm going to get back with my prime. Probably last day. But this is all about football right now. I like to say thanks to all the support Raven Nation fans. I love you guys who are in there. Hope you can win all my YouTube subscribers. Thank you, my channel. Happy, pretty much having fun. I love it. So please like, subscribe. My Google button. Follow me. Please follow me on YouTube. That'd be 10 times better. And Raven Nation in the house. It's your boy. George Brooks, a.k.a. Lion, is the Ravens Nation, baby. We is in there. Playoff battle, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Love you guys.